Hello and welcome to this topic ranges and in this topic we will look at the different ways in which we can create ranges within Julia. Ranges are very very important many times we need to create it for example to process the data to loop in the values and many real life examples just to produce the numbers that we are looking for. All right, so how do we create ranges? Well, the formula is to create a ranges is collect. And let's say we want to create a range of one to 10 and ranges are nothing but your arrays. So if I let's say press shift enter and the output that you will see is basically a 10 element array. So instead of writing an array, which I showed you in the previous uh, topic that you need to write one comma two comma three comma four, let's say, if that is what you need, you can simply write collect and this will give you an array of 1 to 10 or let's say if you need it for 1 to even 100, sorry, 100, 1 to 100, you can get the value 1 to 100 in just one second. So for now, I will just say 1 to 5. Is that something what I need? Not only this, you can even have ranges of let's say 1.5 to 5.5 if, if within the decimal points if you need. You can have like 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 5.5, 4.5 and 5.5. That means it is increasing by a value of 1. What if, if you need to change it by 0.5, that means 1.5 to 2, 2.5 to 3 and 3.5. Well let's do that so to that i will add another colon and say 0.5 that's it what i need and if i press shift enter you will have 1.5 to 2.5 3 3.5 so whatever is the interval will come between the start and end value separated by colon so this way you can create the float and with the desired interval the 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 collection or the range that you need to create. So what I'll do is for now, I will just do like this and for, let's say if you need this particular workbook, which I will give it as a link, then you can have it a different example. Same as the way you can even do it. Uh, one, 10, 100, what will be the output? Well, if you guess it right, that's what it is. 1, 11, 21, right? So if you say 0, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is how you can get it. Or let's say if you want 20, that's how you will get it, the 20 interval with for the integer values. So how about reversing an array? For example, you need 100 first, 80, 60, 40, 20, 0. Well, this is how you need to write it. First 100 minus 20 0 oops I get an error because I put a comma should have given this yep that's it 180 60 40 20 0 very straightforward same can be applied even in the float values also if you have a need that you want to store this well it should be pretty straightforward you have been seeing this collect collect 100 colon 20 colon 0 this is how you will see and see one if i write this is the output that you will get so this way you will be able to store the output very easily also since it is an array you can access it for example c1 what is the third element well 60 1 2 3 or c1 and fifth element oops small c 20 1 2 3 4 5 so this way you can have access to the elements of the ranges or the array not only the values you can even have something like this c1 and the end value right or end minus 1 which is 20 so very very user friendly and minus 1 20 or and minus 2 oops and minus 2 40 so from backward or from uh, front side you have the option to access the 
the elements of the list of this uh, collection or the array. What if, if I need to access the range from 80 to let's say 20? Well, what do I need is, first of all, let me change it to code. I accidentally changed it to markdown. I will say C1, 2, to 5. Nope, not this, 2 to 5. 80, 60, 40, 20, right? So this way also you can access it, right? Or if you have a need to access specific elements only, but not the range, you can even have two brackets like this, two, three, four, five. Oops, um, here, 80, 60, 40, 20, the same, same operation. Think like if you have 20, you may have 25, 44, 55 based on some sort of operation or the checking that you are doing in a loop, this will become really handy. Last but not the least is the C1 to, to end. Well, starting with element number two or the position of element two going up to the end. That's how you can access it. So that's about it. Uh, about the collection or about the ranges within this video and I will meet you now in a new topic.